This is a birthday party Laurie Melzer Klein thought she would never see. Halfway through her pregnancy, she was told her child would not survive to full term. And in my wildest dreams, I never thought that we would be celebrating his first birthday. So it's a remarkable feeling. What made it possible was a groundbreaking procedure performed inside her womb before her baby was born. The man who did it is obstetrician Dr. Bruce Young. Lori was really the very first patient to have this procedure. I felt that there was a very good chance it would be successful, but I wasn't sure, of course. What had gone wrong was a routine amniocentesis test 20 weeks into Laurie's pregnancy. The test is done to check for genetic abnormalities. It involves inserting a needle into the sac of fluid, which surrounds the fetus. Normally, the hole in the membrane heals up quickly, but on rare occasions, it doesn't, and that's a crisis. The fluid seeps out, and without the fluid, the baby's lungs don't develop. Most doctors recommend immediate termination. I was just hysterical, I, and I was feeling hopeless. And I mean, this was a life we were talking about. This was our child that we had hopes, we had dreams for. But Laurie was lucky. Some friends told her about Dr. Young's work at NYU Medical Center. He had just devised an experimental procedure to repair ruptured membranes. With luck and speed, it might just save Laurie's baby. I was very optimistic about it, but I couldn't really be sure that it was going to work. Uh, it is an experimental procedure, and it was carried out uh, with the approval of the medical center, but we didn't really know what to tell the patient, and so I had to tell Laurie that I wasn't sure it was going to work, but I didn't think that there were any other real options besides this if you wanted to preserve the pregnancy. I had in my mind that I would never have him, that I would never see him, so I didn't think I had that much to lose by having the procedure, only something to gain. The operation involved inserting a small video camera on the end of a needle into the uterus. When I heard he was going to insert another needle, I said to myself, you have to be crazy, what are you going to make another hole for? But he assured me he would close up the holes that he made. This is what the camera saw. First, Dr. Young had to locate the rupture. When that was found, it was time to begin the repair. It was delicate work. Dr. Young made a special glue from collagen, a protein found in skin, and fibrin and platelets, two constituents of blood which help clotting. So what I'm trying to do over a period of about one minute is to re recreate the wound healing process, which would normally take three to seven days. And so when it works, it seals the membrane rupture. And then, of course, we withdraw. And as we withdraw, because we've made little holes, we do the same thing and seal the holes that we've made. And then we can see how much fluid has been retained. And that patch then has to heal over a probably three to five day period to be really solid. It worked, and with the special plug in place, the vital fluid in Laurie's amniotic sac began to fill up again. I saw that there was fluid, so I think that lifted my spirits and made me more positive than I had been. After many nerve-wracking weeks, baby Elijah was eventually delivered by cesarean section. He weighed just under one and a half kilos. His lungs were normal, and he was perfectly healthy. Dr. Young to my family is like a hero, and he is. He truly is, he is our hero, and I, it's a very special feeling, and I know that he cared about me and that he wanted to help me, which makes it all, all the better. And he gave me Elijah, and I know without him, he wouldn't be here. He's a very special man. And since the birth of his special patient, Dr. Young has enjoyed keeping a close eye on Elijah. Elijah! Look how big he got! You're Say a big hi. guy! I heard you had a birthday. Say, it was my birthday boy. Yeah, you remember your birthday? <laughs> Say hi. This is very I'm healthy. And actually, you should realize that he's advanced for his age. He's a wonderful, healthy kid. And I can see that he's a very happy child. And his parents look pretty happy. So, you know, this is what, this is what being a physician is about. It's a wonderful feeling when you see a healthy child like this 
in a situation where you knew that there wasn't much hope to begin with. So I just hope we can keep doing it and that it works well for everyone. And in time, Dr. Young's patching technique could be used worldwide to save the lives of more babies like Elijah. I'm 100% glad that I did it. I have no regrets now, you know, and that's because in my situation, everything turned out good. Would I have had regrets if everything didn't turn out as good as it did? Probably not, because I would have known that I've done anything, everything that I could have, and now to know that I've done something that's going to help someone else, it's a great feeling. It makes it all worthwhile.